Good evening and welcome back to Timberborn. I've left the game running for quite a while. It's been doing its thing. All the trees have grown, which is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, all our mangroves have grown. Um, I have no idea whether mangrove storage is doing well or not. Um, deeper, 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 deeper. Mangroves are doing okay. Doing okay. Okay. However, eggplants are not doing okay. Bentos are not doing okay. Also, Greece is not doing okay, and I know Greece is not doing okay because not the country. The country's probably doing fine, but Greece here in Timberwood is not doing well because we need it here, Greece. We don't have much. Um, and it all boils down to this. Uh, ignore the rubber parts being low. They're always low. Um, we, they, I shouldn't have storage for those at all. Um, I, 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 I built storage for those. We have storages down here for them. Um, do, 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 do. Here, there's three storages behind there. Bom, bom, bom. They're always empty, basically. They've got little tiny bits in, but I built those there to basically um, to quiet the people that keep saying you should build storages for the robot parts. You don't need them. Proof. You don't need them. These ratios work perfectly well. Three part factories to two assemblers. Perfect. You do not need storages. The internal storage of these buildings is enough. Yes, you will never fill up. If one of these starts filling up and the other two are not filling up, You've got a problem. Something's wrong with your ratios. Don't need storages for the bot parts if you're doing this this way. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. The only time you'd ever want to really have bot parts, I suppose, would be if you had bots built running in the assemblers and not in the... Uh, sorry, bots running in the factories and not in the assemblers. But then you'd want both. So, either way, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I have proven to myself and to everybody else that you do not need storages for these. Point this. So let's go back to here. The problem we have is canola. Canola is, um, we have them. We have loads of canola seeds, loads of canola seeds, loads of canola seeds, but no canola. We need more presses. We need more presses. So let's uh, do the here. We have a, um, um, a pressing matter. So with that joke out of the way, let's go to our presses here and let's get more oil presses. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in here. And I think I might do them this way. It may seem a little strange. Let me pause the game because it's going kind of really laggy if you don't do it. One, two, three, four, five. Then if I come back here and did one, two, three, four, five, and then come back here and did five. We could actually probably get more in there if I didn't do it that way. Um, I'm not worried about transferring power over to them. Now that means we can't get a path through between them, but that doesn't really matter. That's not all that important. So two, three, four, five. Turn that around there. One, two, three, four, five. We won't be able to get anything else in the center because of how this works here. Now they would all get power because they share from that one there. If we wanted to connect one to the center here, we could do power by connecting the houses with each other. So this could transfer power to these houses and these houses could transfer power to these ones and so on and so forth. But I think we'll do that. That gives us 20. Plus we've got these here um, as well. So yeah, so that's 28 we'd have, which is probably a little bit of overkill. But um. yeah yeah let's do that let's do that so we get enough enough canola coming in and that hopefully will fix all our problems there are a few other things we need to do as well um and that is uh increase our happiness levels of things so campfires and terraces are actually doing very well um so they'll do even better than what i did but we have no aesthetics at all shrub lantern roof brazier bust statue and clock how do we do that well let me slow down time again because it's easier if it's slower Roof is easy. Let's come here and just on top of all of these where the staircases are, let's do platforms like this. Go straight up like that. That's a do -do -doop, do -doop, do -doop, and then do the same here. So come down by three there. I don't want to go across. I'm just going to come down on top of the stairwells. I'm not going up any higher than this, so we don't have to worry about that. And then we can put a roof in on top of the stairwell, like this, and that will get the um, uh, houses of each and every one, which is fantastic. 
However, however, let me pause that for a moment because I've just thought of something. How tall are rooftop terraces? Can they allow overhangs to be placed above them? They can. What if we did that instead? What if we put those there? And then on top of those, we could put all the things. So there are, um, if we come down here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things we need to do. Um, so we need rooms, which are quite a small area of effect. So they need to be kind of above. Uh, there is the lantern, which is a smaller effect. There is the shrub, which is a smaller effect. So there's three that kind of have to be directly above. The brazier is slightly larger, so that could be more internal, like inside one. Can't go in the center because it wouldn't reach. Um, there is the beaver bust, which is the same as the brazier. And then there is the beaver statue, which is larger. The statue, I think, can... No. No, unfortunately, the statue can't go in there. It doesn't quite get the houses. I want to get the houses because that's where the beavers sleep at night. So, yeah. Um, however, we could put some of them in the center here as well. So, how about we do that? What if I was to remove all of those I just put in? Making sure it never tells me I'm going to get any resources back because it says I'm going to get resources back. So it says recovered. That means I'm deleting things that have actually been built. We don't do that. Um, but what if I went with an overhang by four? That gives us four tiles to put things. Good on. Then we'll just have a look what we can put on top of this one. So we can put a roof here. That gets all the houses. We can put a uh, shrub on top as well. Um, like that. That gets all the houses. We can put a lantern on top as well. I don't know why they want to put a lantern on top of that there. The lantern should probably be more centralized somewhere. Um, and then we can put the brazier, the bust, and the statue maybe on ones in the center. We could overhang from here and put them overhanging that way. The clock, uh, the, the, the clock is a bigger one. That also can't see inside it's not quite big enough so we're gonna to have to have a clock on the center ones here as well but we can get two for one if we go in the center there um gotta be careful no i think we'll be all right even with these ones here i think we'll be okay okay let me come up with an idea of how i want to have these overhangs looking exactly because i might want to do something different with the roofs um that's a shame that's a shame yeah, it's a shame we can't get a roof like that, but overhanging, unfortunately. You can put in a double roof like that, but I'd, I'd like to put in a roof on top and then just have it like hanging on top of them, but let me see what I can come up with. Okay, so this is kind of the best that I've come up with. Um, yeah, yeah. So what I've done is uh, we've got three platforms down at the... Uh, street level and uh we've got um a lantern a beaver statue and a shrub and then a brazier a beaver bust and a clock and then that repeats so lantern statue shrub is over here then and it, and it zigzags between the two all the way all the way Boom. So every house has got everything covered on it. On the top is where I put the roofs eventually. I didn't like the overhang thing. I just didn't I yeah, I didn't like it. If I could have done it like for all of them, maybe, but I I didn't I wasn't no. No, I didn't I didn't like it. It was so no. So we've gone with that instead. And um, I've done that over here as well, so they just need to build that. And then that's every happiness bonus at every house, which will be fine. And it should be good because the ones that work on this side that only affect this one. So uh, the lantern, uh, sorry, the brazier, the bust, and the clock aren't down here. So this is getting affected by a, lan a lantern and a clock. And this one is getting affected by a clock and a lantern. So they, they, everyone should be getting every bonus everywhere, which would be fantastic. Fantastic. We'll just go wait for these to get going. They will eventually get going. We've got plenty of beavers, 533 beavers spare at the moment. Um, we're up to almost a thousand beavers so yay yay 
So let's let this build a uh, speed up time and um, let's see whether that and then with all these added to it, because obviously getting the bonuses will increase their work speed as well, uh, whether that will give us the canola we need to get the bentos we need to get the uber happiness we need um get things done so once we get this done and get the anti bentos up to 100 percent, basically 100 percent. you know um as long as it's close close to it so like these are good enough these are good enough as long as we can get that all up there um we can then lower our workday down and everything should be fine earth repop later obviously it needs firing again and once we fire that it'll be fine oh and we've got mud baths i forgot about the mud baths okay let's uh, add them as well because they're here and they can be just different fine mud baths just need water and dirt to run um so uh that'll be fine because we've got both of those and if i plug that in here i believe yeah we've got power right there so we can uh let's do yes two three four five and i'm going to rotate them around and i think we will have them staggered yeah and then save down here oof see that pausing every time i try and click something it's um yeah we're getting there we're getting there with it okay okay so let me let everything get built here and we shall be right back okay so done a little bit and so you let the game run through we put in all the decorations they are built and done and dusted and we're up to 55 happiness here look 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 happiness is really good across the board bentos are climbing slowly but it's climbing slower than the rate of food is dropping um i put in more over here making the bentos um and i think i think there's a problem with it i think there's a problem with it so um the the bentos this is a modded item the bentos the bentos provide every type of food so they eat a bento and they get every type of food however the beavers are also eating the other foods as well so that's wasted that's that's wasted all those all those other nutrition ones there are wasted because the beavers already have all the other nutrition ones so i'm not um not entirely convinced i want to keep bentos in I, i'm i'm not entirely sure i want to even keep, keep the bentos in because the food drain is greater than the uh food making because we're doubling down all the food we're we're e eating all the food normally and we're using all the food again for bentos it uses every single one as well so i'm honestly thinking of just getting rid of the bentos um just just i uh, just getting rid of the mod um it's a great mod if you were using towns because you could make all the bentos and then just ship them out to another town and just have the beavers eat bentos and uh, that would be it that's all they need however then on that side um as soon as one uh type of nutrition goes down in so, so this 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 beaver here so um this beaver here will probably go i need nutrition so it will look for the bentos and then it will go well if i can't find the bentos i'll come down here and probably go for soybeans i think I think that's how it works i'm not sure if it just goes from the top down but i think it looks for the lowest one it's got and tries to find them to eat them and moves on let's uh, let's follow them for a while and see which food they go and get um but uh um yeah so so they're going to fill up all these ones here then when they finally get a bento they'll do that and then all these will be full anyway so it, it's kind of it feels like i'm wasting food it feels like i'm wasting food it really really does so yeah hunger's 100 percent anyway because uh we've just had coffee and coffee counts as hunger um yeah so that's that should be how that works when 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 they go to eat something which will be in a while because this is going to take ages to drop down um they will eat something there so honestly i think i'm just gonna get rid of the bentos i think we're just we're just gonna we're gonna stop we're gonna stop with the bentos um and uh yeah and not not, not worry about them so what do we got here we've got um so let's change all these let's change all these to be corn eggplant lb corn eggplant uh algae okay well actually hold on change it back so uh corn let's change this to algae boom so corn eggplant and this one can become algae again and this one can become algae but and then we'll go over here and we'll just go the same here we'll do corn eggplant and algae 
do glue and we just won't bother with the bentos um because i said i i, I feel like that it, it is it is it's a wonderful thing but it, it the amount it uses it gives them a wonderful boost which is good if somebody was on low food of all of them like that like that that people was on low food of all of them but then as soon as um uh so i mean like here um, if you had a bento, you'd fill up everything you wanted, which would be fantastic and wonderful and great. However, then later on, you might come and go, well, I want mangrove fruits, and you'll eat the mangrove fruits, and then you'll eat some of it until the bentos go down. Then you'll eat the bentos, and then you'd be, it would be wasting because you'd feel like they went algae that time around. So, yeah, I just I just feel like the bentos are a, a no. The bentos are a no. Well, I think we're just going to scrap them, not worry about them, and, uh, yeah. I didn't even put any storage in for bentos anyway, I don't believe, so um, they were eating them out of the pods there. So gonna... Another thing I noticed as well, um is a uh, delivery we're struggling for deliver stuff all around all the time so um yeah i put another canola uh, oil down here because we were struggling to get things from one place to another we also need more dirt uh, because the dirt extractor constantly stops working because it doesn't have enough extract and extract's only down here but i think the actual workers are going to get the extract to come back again which is not ideal we definitely don't want that um, but we do need another extractor because this is this is not keeping up. This is doing six every two hours, and we need. I don't have a clue. One every two hours. I think it says five. We've got ten hours. Yeah, one every two hours. Um. So if this does six every two hours, that's three. So this can only support three mud baths. Um, and we have uh, 10, 20. I need five, I need seven, I need seven extractors to do that. That's, um, that's, that's, yeah. Yeah, I, need, I think I need seven extractors to do that, um, to keep all these 100% full all the time. That's a lot more dirt than I expected. That's way more dirt than I expected. So we're gonna have to set up loads of extractors somewhere. Um, which I don't have any space for. <laughs> uh, and then, um, excavator, sorry. And then hopefully we'll, we're doing enough um, uh, extract here to keep up with it all. So, mm, mm, where do I do that? Where do I put in seven of these guys? So I need another six of them. Uh, we could do it here and then fence it off and have like the big hole going on here somewhere which would look really weird but we could do it we could put them uh we can't put them in line with this because they are technically bigger than this they are a five uh do, 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 do. where are we where are we dirt landscaping um yeah they're 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 five by six these things so they're not three by three um so even putting them in here would be a bit of a struggle we get two in two three four and i don't think we can put them in so if i if i pause again a moment put one in there uh no i couldn't get one behind it either it would have to go there so that's not going to work for us um and i can't rotate them that way because as i said they're five by five by six so if i put one there we could get one there and then I could get one there, so I suppose we could technically have them going here, but I need to get power to them as well. Uh, which isn't anywhere near here, and oh, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. So, yeah, the mud, mud baths might not be working full well either. Um, although mud baths aren't too bad. And again, if we um, uh, drop down to eight or 12 hour days we're gonna get even less in because we're gonna get way less than what they're, they're currently doing so yeah yeah okay i'm gonna let the food stop part a bit more um and uh we still have this, this so I, I i i was kind of thinking oh maybe this will be the last episode maybe, maybe we're right there we're right there but there's a few little tweaks so the bentos i'm actually gonna uninstall that mod i'm gonna get rid of that mod um completely there's no there's just there's no I, I don't, it's, it's a great mod don't worry, I, i'm not i'm not hating on the mod at all um i just don't it's not useful in a scenario where you have a single district it's fantastic for sending off to other districts 
probably the best thing to do with that. You just make you, the only thing you export food wise is bentos, and off you go. That's then that's that's beautiful. That's beautiful. But, but yeah, okay. Um, and we can get our happiness bonus um, popped here with plus ten for this one here. So that'll be fine. Um, everything's working fine here at all. When the, so the bentos were filling. Uh, don't get me wrong, but the rate it was filling here compared to the rate at which my food was dropping, we were going to run out of food well before we did that. Um, and uh, what, what, what's that for? What's that for? Uh, plus one happiness. It's, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's, it's wasting all this food. It's wasting uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. It's wasting seventeen happiness, potentially seventeen happiness to gain one. It's not worth it. It's just not worth it. So, okay. So let's leave this one here. We will come back next time, and I need to figure out how to get some dirt extractors going somewhere else. Um, I don't know what we're going to do with that. Um, I don't have a clue what I'm going to do with that. Because uh, we also need to get power down to them, which is not as easy as it sounds. Um, I'm tempted to try and like remove these here and raise them up and then put this on top of it on a platform on top of these but that's going to be a lot of a lot of work a lot a lot of work yeah gonna be a lot of work to get that done um i don't have to just spacing on things and stuff oh i don't know i don't know what we're gonna do with that i don't have a clue what we're gonna do with the extract we'll we'll figure that one out the, the dirt we'll figure that one out i think that's our last hurdle that's our last hurdle is is the dirt getting the dirt done i think all the food is going to start building again now because we turned off the mentos i think everything's going to work fine uh, i've completely overkill on um extract here this is this does not need uh canola sorry this does not need this much here so but um yeah okay so let's leave it here come in next time and uh well next time will be the uh the final episode so thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this one and i hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun <laughs>